But I, I mean, we do have time, I think, five or ten minutes for, for a handful of questions. Um, if none of you all have any, I have about nine more, but yes. Um, yeah, so I noticed uh, I picked up two kind of themes from, from what you were discussing. One was uh, uh, somewhat audacious goals, um, and the other was I don't think I heard you use the word profit in anything that you spoke about. Um, you seem to be, each, each thing is pointed at, like, reinvigorating an industry or bringing back uh, space missions. How much of the, your success do you attribute to having really audacious goals or versus um, just not being focused on the short term, you know, money coming in or, I don't know, investors? Unfortunately, I, 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 one, and one does have to be focused on the short term and money coming in when creating a company because otherwise the company will, will die. So the, the, I think that a lot of times people think like creating companies going to be fun. I would say it's not. It's really not that fun. I mean, there are periods of fun, and there are, there are periods of where it's where it's just awful. Um, and particularly if you're the CEO of the company, um, you actually have a distillation of all the worst problems in the company. Um, there's no point in spending your time on things that are going right. So you only spend on things on your time on things that are going wrong. And, and there are things that are going wrong that s other people can't, can't take care of. So you have like the worst. You have a filter for the crappiest problem in the company. <laughs> and the most pernicious and painful problem. Um, so I wouldn't say it's, it's it, I think you have to feel quite compelled to do it um, and have a, a fairly high pain threshold. And there's a friend of mine who, who says like starting a company is like staring into the abyss and, and eating glass. Um, and there's some truth to that. Um, the staring into the abyss part is that you're going to be constantly facing the, the um, extermination of the company. Because uh, most, most startups fail. Uh, it's like 90%, arguably 99% of, of startups fail. So, uh, so you, you, that, that's the staring into the abyss part. You're const constantly saying, okay, this, if, if, if I don't get this right, the company will die. Um, it should be quite stressful. Quite stressful. And, and then um, the eating glass part is you've got, you've got to do you've got to do the problems you've got to, you've got to work on the problems that the company needs you to work on not the problems you want to work on and, and so that the, that's you end up working on problems that, that uh, you'd really wish you weren't working on and so that's, that's the eating glass part um, and that goes on for a long time so how do you <laughs> keep your focus on the big picture when you're constantly faced with we could be out of business in a month Well, it's, it's just a very small percentage of mental energy is on the, on the big picture. Like, you know, you know, you know where you, you're generally head, heading for, and, and the, the actual path is going to be some sort of zigzaggy thing in that direction. Um, and try not to deviate too far from the path that, that, that you want to be on, but you're going to have to do that to some degree. Um, but I, I don't want to diminish the, I mean, I think the, pro, the profit motive is a, is, a, is a good one if the rules of an industry are properly set up. So there's nothing fundamentally wrong with profit. In fact, profit just means that uh, people are paying you more for the, the, whatever you're doing than you're spending to create it. That's a good thing. <laughs> and and if, if, you're not, if, if that's not the case, then you'll be out of business, and rightfully so. Because you're, you're, you're not adding enough value. Now, there are cases, of course, where people uh, will do bad things in order to um, achieve profit. But, but that's actually uh, quite unusual, because I mean, usually the, the, the rules are set up mostly correctly. Like, not completely, but mostly correctly. Well, I think we have time for one, one more question. Joel? This yeah. yeah, I have an important one. OK, very good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. OK, so a few months ago, you teased Hyperloop. <laughs> um, and we haven't yes. heard anything since. Um, so first of all, uh, a few of us engineers were talking about it. And I think we have a few ideas if you need help. <laughs> but if you feel comfortable, uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit more. Uh, I, I was reading about the California high-speed rail, and, and oh. it, was, it was quite depressing. Um, because uh, California taxpayers are going to be on the hook to, you know, to, to build the most expensive uh, high-speed rail per mile in the world, and the slowest. Um, <laughs> which, which is, yeah. those are not the superlatives you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> and, and it's like, damn, like we're in California, we make super high-tech stuff. What, why are we 
going to be spending, not, now the estimates are around $100 billion for uh, uh, something that, that will take two hours to go from um, LA to, to San Francisco. I'm like, okay, well, I can get on a plane and do that in 45 minutes. Um, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, and isn't there some better way to do it than that? Um, so so uh, if, if you just say, okay, well, what would you ideally want in, in, a, in, a, in a transportation system? You'd say, okay, well, you'd want something that relative to existing modes of transportation is faster, let's say twice as fast, costs half as much per ticket, um, can't crash, is immune to weather, um, and is, you know, you can make the whole thing like self-powering with like solar panels or something like that. That would be pretty, that would that be, that'd a, be, that'd be a, good, great. A, a, yes. a good outcome. Yes. Um, and so what, what would do that? Um, and what's the fastest way short of inventing teleportation that you could do something like that? Um, and some of the elements of that solution are fairly obvious, and some of, it, some of them are not so obvious. Um, and then the details, um, the devil's in the details of, of actually making something like that work. Um, but uh, I came to the conclusion that, that, that there is something like that that could work, um, and would be practical. Is this the, uh, the, around the evacuated tubes, the, the vacuum tubes, like um, at the old bank? Like that. It's some, something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you haven't been more public with, with no. what this is? Um, no, although I did say that once Tesla was profitable that I would uh, talk more about it. Um, but we haven't done an earnings call yet, so I, th I think I should probably do it yeah. after the earnings call. Um, and it, it, the thing is, like, I, I, I kind of strung out on the things that I'm doing, so adding another yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like doesn't, you know, that's Learning the guitar, you could, you could yeah. pick up yeah, all sorts of things. Right. I, I tried learning the violin. Yes. That's, by the way, a hard thing to learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, launching like, rockets, <laughs> electric cars, yeah. revolutionizing transportation. Yeah, that's um, I cannot but play the violin at yeah. all. Very <laughs> horrible. Um, you know, if you think about the future, you want a future that's better than the past. Yeah. And, yeah. and so if we had something like the Hyperloop, I think that would be like, cool. Like, you'd look forward to the day that that was working. Yeah. You know? and, and if something like that, even if it was only, even if it only was in one place, you yeah. know, from LA to San Francisco or New York to DC or something like that, then um, it would be cool enough that it would be like a tourist attraction, yeah. maybe like a riot or yeah. something. Yeah. So, so even if, if um, some of the initial assumptions didn't work out and the economics didn't, didn't, didn't work out quite as, as one expected, it would be like cool enough to be like, I want to journey that place just to, just to ride on that thing. That would be pretty cool. Um, wow. And so that's, I think, how, if, if you come up with a new technology, it should, it should feel like that. You should really, yeah. like, if you told it to an objective person, would they look forward to the day that that thing became available? Yeah. And, and be like, you know, it'd be pretty exciting to, to do something like that. Um, or, or an aircraft. Like, I thought it was really disappointing when the, when the Concorde was taken out mm. of commission and there was no supersonic uh, transport available. Yeah. Um, and of course, the 787 has had some issues. Yeah. Um, so, um, but, it's, but the thing is, the 787, even in the best case scenario, is only a slightly better version yeah. of the 777. Yeah. Um, and it's like, okay, mm. you know, not, not that exciting. So, so they're, 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 this is something that you are working on. And, and one day on in the not too far future, or there's some plans or consultants involved or something. <laughs> there's um, there, <laughs> you've right. made some phone calls to Russia. <laughs> um, no, every now and then, like, there's like, th it's sort of percolating away, yeah. and then I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actively thinking about it, but then there'll be some new element of that. I'll think, oh, well, you yeah. know, this would make it better. Fascinating. Um, yeah. No, well, th th I mean, I, I think I'm speaking for everyone. This is, like, the most epic possible conversation <laughs> one could have over the, about the course of an hour, and I think all of us would love to chat with you for hours on end, but thank you so much. I mean, I know you have a lot of free time, so it probably wasn't that big of a deal yeah. for you to come here, uh, but yeah, it was a huge honor, and I think to, it's inspired all of us to go out and change the world and, and the universe. Cool. Thank, right. thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was